Morning, brothers and sisters. Brother Clarence here with a message from the Lord this morning. I tell you what, I've got a word for you today. I've uh, been th studying on this thing. I tell you, uh, it's something we've known ever since the day we were saved, but we didn't understand it or realize it. And I, I think I can help you today, or hope I can, uh, help you to realize uh, your position in Christ and, and what power you have have already been given to you. Why seek you something that you already have? Uh, we're still studying out of Second Corinthians chapter 5, uh, verse 5 today. I feel in my heart God trying to get us ready for the rapture. Uh, more and more, uh, as he releases this knowledge and stuff that's, that, that, that I've been sharing with you, it, it, it prepare us for the rapture. Have you ever in a day in your life ever seen how the chaos is today? It's like every demon of hell has been released upon America. I mean, we're a nation of love, and and it's turned into a nation of greed and a nation of violence. We're separated. We're a separated nation. And uh, that's a dangerous place to be for a nation. But we're one nation under God. And, it, it, and, it, and with God's help, we're going to get this nation back, I pray. If people would realize who they are in the Lord, who they, who, who they are in Christ Jesus, and uh, understand these things going on is of Satan. Everything that's happening out there, and all the violence, the, the killing, the beatings, that's all of the devil. And, and, and Christians ought to realize that and be, be in much prayer for America. We have been praying uh, every day. We haven't missed a day at 8 o'clock at night for this country. Ever since back in March, the Lord put it upon my heart to start a prayer chain. And everybody's invited to uh, to pray for this nation. We need to pray for America. And we need to pray for Israel. We need to pray for America and all our leaders and people in a, and everybody that's in authority today. And pray for safety. Uh, with that said, I, I'd like to read this, this verse. And we're, we're going to look at uh, some things here this morning. Verse 5 says, Now he that had wrought us for the selfsame thing is God, who also had given unto us the earnest of the Spirit. Uh, this be part three of this, of this message. Uh, if you will remember that the Holy Spirit is a pledge is a pledge and not a promise, you will never find yourself in any spiritual difficulty concerning uh, which many error. Uh, even though he uh, was a promise and a promise made by the Heavenly Father, he is, he is not now a promise to us or to be it. Uh, he is not a promise uh, to be expected. He is a pledge already given. Uh, and uh, over in the book of John, John 15, 26, before Christ went to the cross, he told his disciples, but, but uh, when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me. And then after the cross, Acts, uh, Acts chapter 1, verse 4, uh, the Bible tells us uh, there, uh, and being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which says he, ye, ye have heard of me. He was promised, uh, and in 
fulfillment of that promise he was given. The promise thus uh, because a uh, because a gift and the gift a a fact. He he was not only promised, but he was he was given, and 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 a gift uh, that is given is is and is a, a, a I mean a fact. The fact uh, uh, is something to be enjoyed. We do not seek him, but we should yield to him. See, that's the problem. We we don't understand. We should yield to the Holy Spirit in everything we do. We should yield to him and, and, and recognize his authority and recognize his power that helps us and will direct us and guide us to do the things that he has uh, roughed us for. Hallelujah. So we, we should surrender. Uh, well, uh, we, we, we should... Uh, we should yield and surrender all our fellow uh, members to his transforming power. When we do this, we will experience that transformation of, of character, which is the uh, aspiration of the, of the transformation of the body that will occur at the rapture. Uh, in light, in light, in, in this light, in this light, uh, the, the pattern uh, of, of Christian experience becomes very clear and, and beautiful. It becomes a complete and glorious picture. Uh, it balances the present with the future. It gives the present in a limited sense and equally with the future. It puts experience and, and uh, expectation on the same level. Hallelujah. It, 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 it uh, definitely the, the Christian life uh, to the degree of, of uh, nobly, uh, we, have, we have been told uh, the only thing uh, as assurance is the present, the future? It has been uh, described as vagrant or uh, 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 trying to think of word flatly, uh, 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 maybe uh, uncertainty. I mean, we we have been taught that the future may be uncertain. I mean, but it's not. The future, it's uh, the. The future is not uncertain, praise God. We can know. We can know. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm getting, we can know. Help me, Lord. <laughs> Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We can know. Uh, the, the future has been described, you know, as I said. Uh as uh, beggarly or 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 anyway uncertain, uh, it is all of this. It is it is it's all, it is all of this to the mind the, the natural mind. See the natural mind. The future is uncertain. To the natural mind. Uh, it, it, uh, the people who have just a natural mind don't have the help of the Holy Spirit. These people out here raising all this, this fuss and throwing rocks and bricks through windows and dragging people out of cars and beating them and all that. They, 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 they don't understand they've been used by the devil because their natural mind is yielded to this evil spirit instead of the Holy Spirit. There's a difference. I'm telling you, there's a difference. And if we could grasp that and understand that, my Lord, we we would we would uh, it, it would be awesome. The natural mind it 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 is all of this to the natural mind. It it it's uncertain. Uh, 
but to but not to uh, the believers, the Christians. The Christian uh, or, or Christianity is a, a philosophy of faith which reduces the future to the present. Hallelujah! Grasp that. The future. Oh my my my. Christianity is a philosophy of faith. Faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross. The shed blood of Jesus cleanse you from all your sins. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Uh, which reduces the future to the present. Hallelujah. <laughs> well, I'm going somewhere with this. Hang on now. Listen up. Listen up. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory. It is not uh, uh, so to, 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 cite a, a, as, uh, uh, to cite, of course, uh, but it is so to, uh, to faith. It is not something which is, is going to happen. It has already happened. It has happened in a personal Individual sense. Notice now uh, how comfortably Paul spoke of death and what follows. In the first verse, he 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 uh, he wrote or he used the words, "For we know, for we know." But we know, but we know. Let's read that. It said there in the first, uh, second Corinthians chapter five, verse one. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, it we have a building of God, and house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. Now, he, he, he penned those words down through the Holy Spirit. We know. While in the sixth verse, he used the words, we are always confident. My, my. We are always confident. What did he say there? Therefore, we are always confident, knowing that while we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. Now, always, uh, I mean, we are always confident. It is the knowledge and the confidence which Paul had. He did not have all the facts uh, of the experience before him, but he had the faith of a spiritual experience in him, in him. He had that, that experiential experience in him until the facts uh, materialize. Faith is the subject, or, or faith is significant, in another word. Faith is, is significant. Uh, It is significant. Faith is the highest act of reason. It is the highest act of reason. Faith is the highest act of reason. And, and we must understand that. We know. Hallelujah. He said, therefore, we know. Uh, while, while in the sixth verse he used the words, we are always confident. We're always confident. The, remember, the Holy Spirit dwells in you. He is in you, the hope of glory. He is in you to guide you, to help you. If we would realize the Holy Spirit abides in us, we could overcome anything. That's what the, uh, Paul meant, or John meant, greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Hallelujah. He is in us today. Today we are the sons of God. Not tomorrow, but today 
We are the sons of God. And, and, the, and the world doesn't know us because it knew not him. Let me read that verse to you. Today we are the sons of God in, 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 in uh, third John, uh, uh, second John there. In other words, first John, I think it is, in verse, in verse, uh, yeah, in, in, in chapter three, and look there, in verse one there, it says, Behold, behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. See, these people out here doing all this stuff, bringing all this pain and suffering to innocent people, they don't know the Holy Spirit. They don't, they don't know. See, the world knows him not, the Bible says. That's what it says right here. For, for the world knows, knoweth him not, because it, it uh, that therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. They don't know God. And it's our place to introduce them to God and love and, 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 and show them the way of uh, because the church is like of no realizing who they are in Christ and praying and seeking God and being led by the Holy Spirit is what's brought all this on us. I mean, it 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 has. Uh, Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it do not yet appear what we shall be, but we know. There it is again. But we know that when He shall appear. We shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that had this hope in him purified himself, even as he is pure. How do we purify ourselves? Faith in the Lord Jesus Christ and what he did on the cross. Faith in the finished works of Jesus Christ, the Word of God, the Holy Spirit will purify you as you are already pure. But He will, we're not where we ought to be, but we're not where we used to be. Praise God. Now, He will purify us through the Word. We're washed through the Word. If we read the Word, faith cometh by hearing, hearing by the Word. It takes faith to see what I'm saying this morning. It takes faith to look above this life and see a better life ahead. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I'm looking for Jesus to come just any day. And we ought to live every day that He's coming today. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Well, listen, this brother Clarence, I've got to get off here. You have a blessed, blessed day now and meditate on these things we talked about this morning. Look up in your Bible. You're sealed into the day of redemption. Look into your Bible and see what the Holy Spirit uh, says about the Word of God and how He, how he dwells in us and and that we have our being in Christ. And I mean, we're in Christ. And, and to be in Christ, praise God. And to know that you're in Christ Jesus, hallelujah, gives you the power to overcome anything in your life. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Well, I hope you got something out of this today. I love you in the Lord. Remember, help me pray tonight at 8 o'clock. And... Uh, I'll see you in the morning, but you have a blessed, blessed day and meditate on these things we talked about here this morning. Meditate on, on, on your, your uh, position in Christ. Meditate on that today and meditate on the Holy Spirit being in you, the hope of glory. Hallelujah. Praise his name. Have a blessed, blessed day today and I love you and I'll see you tomorrow. If I don't see you tomorrow, I hope some glad day I'll see you in heaven. God bless.